Well, way back in the early days, there used to be hostesses at, at the Safeway market. And she got, so she liked Ed very much as a two-year-old baby. And she talked to him all the time. And one time she said to me, has he always been such an old soul since he was born? And I said, yeah, I think so. Growing up in Wheat Ridge, we were lucky. We were always in Jefferson County Schools. We started at Reed Street Elementary, which became Stevens. And the leader of the school uh, was Miss Trezice. And she was there as long as we could remember. And no one brooked any nonsense with Miss Trezice. So we were all good kids. I remember when he came to enroll at, for the kindergarten, and I was very impressed with his intellect and his curiosity as a little five-year-old. Our fathers were in business together, so it's hard to say when your memories start as a kid, but he would have been in my very first memories. He was a very lively kid, kind of king of the neighborhood. He was a pretty serious, he was a serious student, and he, he he was involved in everything. And it was a very interesting time for him because their friends and neighbors were all people who were motivated and turned on. So, you know, you didn't have to play down your strengths. Ed was just a presence at school, which is why he's so good, or at least part of why he's so good at what he does now. He just has a very strong personality. It just really, uh, provided a rich environment for for Ed and his friends and for me and my friends. And I don't think he won, but he got an awful lot of votes. So <laughs> Ed was popular even as a woman. Ed was always a good student, always enjoyed activities. He really shone in high school. Ed has always been a person who attempts to build consensus, build agreement, find common ground for people. Once he started practicing law, he said, at some point when I can afford to, I'd like to, you know, maybe run for some office and see if I can make a little bit of a difference around here. I think that it was just in his genes. We had always been interested in politics and demonstrated it to him in many ways. He always felt strongly that uh, everybody should uh, participate in, you know, in, in social issues. Well, I was very proud because he, uh, and I was proud of the campaign he ran. I mean, he actually, that, that more than anything else, told what kind of a, of a uh, legislator he would be, and it also told what kind of person he was. I think he's a great dad, and he's done a wonderful job being um, really balanced with his political life and his home life. I was telling Zoe that I think he had a, like a almost perfect record as a politician, like his first year or his first couple of years in office. And um, the only time he missed a, a vote was to come home for Zoe's um, to come home for Zoe's senior prom. Ed was always a friend of everyone. Even if you argue with him, he's still your friend. I mean, you can disagree vehemently and he's still your friend. And that's what I've always appreciated in Ed. And by the way, always protective of Jefferson County School District also. Ed has a deeply held belief that education really matters. He cares about the kids, he cares about our teachers, he cares about our schools. Ed was one of our leaders and a mover and shaker in our 2004 mill levy and bond election. And if you think about it, our high school kids owe him a great debt of gratitude. We did major improvements in seven of our high schools thanks to Ed's work. So he was part of a strong team and he never gave up and he was remarkable. 
You know, Congressman Pearl Mutter has done a lot of wonderful things for the city of Lakewood, but the single greatest thing can be summed up in one word, our hospitals. Uh, Ortho Colorado, and by extension, St. Anthony Hospitals, opened on time because of the dogged determination of one man back in Washington, Ed Perlmutter. I actually have two favorite things about Ed Perlmutter. One is his, uh, his, his energy and determination. How many times have we all heard Ed say, just give me a job and, and I'll do it, and, and boy does he ever. And the second thing is, is the respect with which he's held by his peers on both sides of the aisle back in Washington. That ability to reach across the aisle to get job, the job done is something we need more than ever now. But they were coming up to say hi and thank you for the good work that he had done for them. And that so impressed me. Everywhere we went during that campaign, that happened over and over again. We at Pomona were very excited this year because at the Congressional Baseball game, the jersey that Ed wore uh, to represent uh, his constituents was a Pomona jersey. I think, uh, I think Ed understands fundamentally that uh, our public schools are so important to our public safety, to our property values, to our ability to attract new jobs, and ultimately to our ability to compete in the global marketplace. I remember seeing Ed do a tumbling act on TV following a successful campaign. And I said to the folks that were around me, we taught him that at Reed Street Elementary School in our tumbling program. I always managed to take credit for things that our students did good when they were adults.